Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, April 27, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our online trades, and our, also our courses. The link, link is down below. So let's start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And um, the US... Uh, the U.S. index didn't move that much today, and as you can see, the Great British Pound and the U.S. dollar didn't move much either. We did break it towards the 20 exponential, which has crossed the 50 moving average now, and we did also get towards the highs here of uh, 139. Uh, but still, we basically landed where we basically started, at, and we were just up 0 0.03 at this current stage. So if you look at this, we have basically... Uh, upper trend line here that we basically have to break in order to go higher and uh, underneath there is quite a lot of support so it may well be that we will just trend sideways for the foreseeable future until we basically break out of this of this triangle here so we may go uh, go just flat for a few days and um, before we basically break above here or break beneath and as I said there's a lot of support underneath so at this current stage if you look at technical indicators they are favoring the upside but it's still just a waiting game if we break this upper trend line then it's a, a fairly good sign that we are going to go higher if we break below here then we'll most likely go and revisit revisit the previous lows all the way down at the 1.367 so if you look at technical indicators, we can see that the uh, MACD is in positive territory, well above the signal line. RSI is very bullish, the CCI is bullish. We are basically in the middle of nowhere here in the in the Bollinger Band. And the stochastic is underneath uh, the green line here and also underneath the signal line. And it's currently bearish at this current stage. But at this, at this stage, we are just basically trading sideways. And we basically need a clear signal whether or not we're going to rally to the upside or basically to the downside. So let's look at the US dollar and Japanese yen. We did have some movement here. We're up 0.38% at this current stage. We are we have basically been falling for basically forever for nearly a month. And um, we were down 3.14% uh, at the very lows. And now we are rallying a bit. So it doesn't mean that this is going to completely change everything. And then we're just going to rally back towards the upside. As you can see that we have a crossing of the 20 exponential and the 40 exponential at the 50. And we're mostly going to have the crossing of the 20 and the 40 exponential uh, in the next trading days. If you look at technical indicators, we were very, very low in this currency pair. We were significantly oversold and we were very overstretched here in the Bollinger Band. We can see also in the other technical indi indi indicators that we can see that the MACD is underneath uh, zero and... Is basically leveling off so it's going to cross the signal line most likely in the next few trading days and if that is the case then we could see this rally up towards the 20 or the 40 or even the 50 moving average but expect major resistance when you get towards these moving averages so at this current stage we are basically in a downtrend and we have basically been in a downtrend for the last month basically a month and a half this uh, stochastic is one of those indicators that is becoming very bullish and um, at this current stage pullbacks towards the uh, rallies towards the 20 exponential they will most likely be sold into if we were to break about the 50 then we will most likely go and retest these previous highs at 110. so let's look at the euro us dollar and as you can see we can get rid of this we have pulled back a little bit today we're down 0.19 percent we are grinding gradually higher in the euro us dollar we hit rock bottom here at the 300 moving average and since then we have basically just gone up in this nice channel that we have created here and as long as we basically stay within this channel then we are mostly just going to see this currency pair just going gradually to the upside if we were to break below uh, this um trend line they will most likely go and retest at the 20 and the 50 moving average again break below that will drop all the way down to the 300 moving average but that is very far away and uh, there is massive support underneath otherwise gradual grinds um, to the upside that looks like what is going to occur here in the euro us dollar 
we'll run into major resistance when we get towards uh, 1217. Otherwise, technical indicators, they are looking fairly good. We could see some pullbacks in the next few trading days as we are significantly over overbought at this current stage and we are we were approaching um the 20, the top of the bullish band so we could see us dropping back towards this trend line or even towards the, the middle of the bullish band before going higher so let's look at aussie dollar us dollar and this has rallied quite a bit and gave most of those gains back at the end of the session but clearly we are most likely going to retest these previous highs that we have basically back in March, in the beginning of March, in the, in the middle of the March, we tested it twice and basically broke down. We almost tested it here in, uh, in 19th of April and then broke down. And now it looks like we're going to test this level yet again at 0 0.78. If that breaks, then we are going all the way back towards 0 0.80. If you look at other technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bullish, the C RSI is bullish, but we are at 69. The CCI is bullish and the stochastic is bullish, and we're approaching the very highs of the bullish band. So we could see this pull back a little bit. We'll most likely find major support down here at 100 moving average. And uh, if we break this, then yes, if we get a green candlestick that basically um, above this line, then it's uh, very likely that we're going towards 0.80. So let's look at the US dollar, Canadian dollar. And as I said in my previous video yesterday, um, this was just about the ball. And yes, here we are. So we were struggling at the 50 moving average. We have tested it almost a month. And then it basically just gave away. And today we fell roughly half a percent. So if you look at the bullish band, we are significantly outside here. So we could expect this to pull back a little bit tomorrow up towards the 20 exponential. And uh, if you look at other technical indicators, they are looking dreadful. So at this point, pullbacks are, or rallies are most likely going to be sold into. And what we're looking at is most likely a drop towards this very lows or these previous lows over here, which is another, another, well, not that far off. But if that basically breaks, then we're going towards the lower part of this channel. So rallies up towards the 20, 40, or 50, they have basically been challenged. And um, this is just a continuation of um, a moves that we have seen in the past. Rallies up towards the 50 here and also here. And all of those have basically been sold into. And um, that's why we're basically in this downtrend. So hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.